Hey guys, Taylor here, and today we're back with another Division 2 video. Now in this one, we're going to talk a little bit more about progression and the end game within the Division 2. More specifically, we're going to be talking about how specializations work and the progression tree behind them. But before we do get into the video, I just want to bring to your attention again that we are still hosting a giveaway, and that is for the chance to win a console of your choice between a PlayStation 4 Pro, an Xbox One X, or a Nintendo Switch. And to enter that, follow the link down in the description. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Now with every specialization, you're gonna get access to the following. A unique signature weapon, a skill mod, a grenade mod, a weapon attachment, a tactical link for a group buff, talents with armor kits, general weapon bonuses for your gear, and two signature weapon ammo talents for the player and the party. Now, although that's what you're going to get access to per specialization, it's all going to vary a little bit per specialization. So let's start with the skill tree that we actually have a picture of, and that being for the Demolitionist. Now, the weapon you're going to get for the Demolitionist is pretty obviously the big multi-shot grenade launcher. The general modifiers are the following. So you're going to have the incombustible talent, which is increased burn resistant by 20%. Explosive Ordnance, plus 25% increased explosive damage. Effects, explosive grenades, skills and effects. Vital Protection, reduce the chance you are critically hit in the conflict game modes by 20%. And the Demolitionist, Tactical Link, so group members gain plus 5% damage to targets out of cover. So now we're moving on to the weapon modifiers and general equipment modifiers. And starting off with the fragmentation grenade, now we all know a specialization is going to come with its separate grenades. Pretty self-explanatory, the fragmentation grenade deals damage and causes targets to bleed. We have the Desurius special, which is access to a 0.357 magnum revolver. Gunslinger, plus 10% increased sidearm damage. Signature weapon damage, so plus 145% increased signature weapon damage. Spray and prey, plus 15% increased increased SMG damage, Onslaught plus 15% increased LMG damage, and a small laser pointer, so an underbarrel attachment for short and long range rails. So yeah, it does seem like we're going to get exclusive weapon attachments depending on the specialization we pick. So now a couple of skill modifiers. Again, we found out quite recently that specializations are gonna come with certain skill variants and they're only accessible when using that specialization. You're gonna get the artillery variant for the turret skill. You'll also get the cyclone magazine. This mod increases the turret's ammunition count and the shade CPU V2. So this mod increases the turret's damage. And last but not least, the miscellaneous branch. X stat armor kit supplementary. So this armor kit repairs 70% damage and boosts weapon handling by 100% for 15 seconds. And on completion, an additional 30% repair occurs. 40 millimeter grenade acquisition. So explosive kills drop signature weapon ammo, except when caused by the grenade launcher. Group signature ammo supply. Multi kills with explosives grant a chance to gain signature weapon ammo to all group or range members. Crisis response, when armor is reduced to zero, refills all main weapon ammo. Brace for impact, ignore explosives, but this can only be triggered once every 60 seconds. And finally, the demolitionist uniform and outfit for the demolitionist. Now moving on to the survivalist specialization. This one is of course the one with the explosive tipped crossbow as a signature weapon. The general modifiers are as follows. We have elite defense plus 20% protection from elites, triage specialist plus 25% increased healing from team members, crunch time 10% cooldown reduction when in cover, vital protection reduce the chance you are critically hit in conflict game modes by 20% and survivalist tactical link group members gain plus 10% damage to targets with status effects. And now the weapon modifiers. So we have the unique grenade and this one's an incendiary grenade and pretty self-explanatory it ignites enemies. The Survivalist D50, a .44 Magnum revolver with an optical attachment slot. Gunslinger, plus 10% increased sidearm damage. Signature weapon damage, again 145% increased signature weapon damage. Running the gun, plus 15% increased shotgun damage. EMI, plus 15% increased assault rifle damage. And finally, the Infantry 5.56 Mag. So a special magazine for 5.56 assault rifles. Now the skill modifiers. 
So we're going to have the Flicker variant. This is a variant for the Seeker Mine and it follows allies and repairs armor. Now I'm pretty sure this is a rename of the Mender variant, but I could be wrong. As well as that, you also get the Magnetic Disc, so this mod is to reduce the Seeker Mine cooldown, as well as the Laria Tridentata Infusion. This mod is to increase the healing of the Seeker Mine. And of course, the last branch for the Survivalist skill tree is a Miscellaneous branch. So first up is the Distributed Repair. Of course, this is an armor kit, and this now repairs over 5 seconds instead of instantly, but the repair effect now also applies to team members within a radius of 10 meters. The Explosive Bolt Acquisition. Status effect kills drops signature ammo, group signature ammo supply, multi kills of status affected enemies grant a chance to gain signature weapon ammo to all group or raid members, scraping by receive 5 ammo per second for your current weapon when moving from cover to cover while in combat, and of course we get that uniform so you'll also receive the survivalist uniform. And finally, the last skill tree to talk about, and the last specialization, and that is the sharpshooter. But we have the tools to fight back. So this signature weapon is of course a TAC 50C rifle, so a big beefy 50 caliber sniper rifle. The general modifiers are as follows, one in the head, plus 25% headshot damage, deft hands, plus 30% increased reload speed, breath control, 30% weapon stability and reduced recoil, my home is my castle, increased armor while in cover, vital protection, reduce the chance you are critically hit in conflict by 20%, sharpshooter tactical link, group members gain plus 10% headshot damage when they are closer to the target than you. Weapon modifiers are as follows, the unique grenade is a flashbang grenade and this blinds enemies, a sharpshooter 93, so a 3 round burst 93R, gunslinger plus 10% increased sidearm damage, that is across the board on all three specializations now by the looks of it. The signature weapon damage as well across all three specializations plus 145% increased signature weapon damage. This is my rifle plus 15% increased marksman rifle damage and then digital scope, a digital scope for bigger distances. The skill modifiers, so you're going to get the tactician which is a variant for the drone and this marks enemies for all the group members to see, the graphene battery and a carbon fiber frame. It doesn't actually give any details on what those are going to do, whether that's a quicker cooldown or a further visibility for the tactician variant, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see. And finally the miscellaneous tree, X stat armor kit supplementary, so armor kit repairs for 50% less but removes status effects and increases bleed, burn and hazard resistance for 20 seconds. 50 caliber ammo acquisition, headshot kills drop signature weapon ammo except for kills with attack 50c rifle, group signature ammo supply, kills with signature weapons have a chance to drop signature weapon ammo for all group or raid members. Round after round, receive 5 ammo per 10 seconds for your rifles after 20 seconds in cover. And finally, the marksman uniform, so you get a nice vanity uniform for the sharpshooter specialization. So yeah, there you have it, every perk within each specialization skill tree that we have so far. Unfortunately, we didn't have pictures for the other two skill trees, so we're not sure how the branch is going to look, but I can imagine they're going to be very similar to the demolitionist skill tree that we do have a picture of. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to check out some more awesome stuff from us here at Arix Gaming, then you should definitely try to catch 269 and Paradise Central streaming 6 days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. They play a wide range of games, and what's more, we also have the end game store. By watching their streams, you earn currency, and you can redeem that currency on the end game store for really cool prizes. Those can range from things like games, comics, and figures, all the way up to controllers, capture cards, and even consoles. So definitely drop by and become part of the community. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, then make sure you're subscribed and be sure to click on that little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss our next upload. You can watch more videos by clicking on the options here. But once again, thanks very much for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.